trying things I've never had from Taco Bell. Oh, let's get into this. So I came across a couple of like limited time offers. The infamous nacho fries. I've had the nacho fries once, but they were smothered in uh, like the truff sauce. This was like last year and steak and all kinds of other stuff. They were so popular years ago and I just never understood it. I was like, they do not even sound good. Like it's the least interesting sister to look at. Like I had no interest in nacho fries. So let's give them a try. Dipping in some nacho cheese sauce. You know what? They're pretty good. <laughs> they kind of taste like KFC fries. Y'all know how KFC fries have like this crunchy batter on the outside almost? Almost like they were battered and fried like like double but I don't know. If you work at KFC and you know how the fries are done, comment and let me know. To me, they taste different than just like a potato that's deep fried. It almost tastes like there's a batter on them. KFC fries do have really good seasoning. They taste like KFC fries. The flavor is good. I don't know that I would go to Taco Bell and order fries, but I like the flavor of them. Cleanse the palate. This is the Brisk Dragon Paradise Iced Tea. Sparkling iced tea. Is this really tea at this point, you guys? Like, or is it just some sort of sugar water? Like, is there tea actually in this? Am I getting caffeine is the real question. But it is good. I do like it. This is a limited time offer. It is the Loaded Beef Nachos. Standard nachos. Looks pretty good. Nachos are one of those things you got to eat them ASAP. Otherwise, they're disgusting. They have, in fact, lost their crunch. I hate their guacamole, though. Their guacamole tastes like a dumpster fire. I like the addition of the red sauce. There's the, um, the enchilada sauce on there. That's really good with the beef. This just seems equivalent to the regular, like, Nacho Bel Grande, though. Like, why, why even make this when you have the Bel Grande? This is what my car does now when I turn the heat on. Jeep. Do you want to sponsor me? Buy me a new car. I'm just a girl trying to eat nachos in her car. This looks like the double stacked taco. Ooh, double stacked. Why is she double stacked? Okay, so there's nacho cheese on the inside of the tortilla and the taco. Gotta sauce it up. Gotta have two packs, you guys. If you're not doing two packs on your tacos, you're doing it wrong. Also, open both of them at the same time. I see people open one at a time and it's like so time consuming to watch. Just open two at once and then squeeze them both on there. Oh, it has crispy chips on there too. What are these called? Fiesta uh, chips or something like that? Double stacked. Yeah, she's double stacked. Do you guys ever pick like what side you want to bite first based off how juicy the end looks? Like that end looks a little dry. So I'm going in on this end. I don't think I got the nacho cheese on that bite because I just got the end. So let's go for the undercarriage. Really good. I like the addition of the nacho cheese. However, I would have just got rid of the flour tortilla and put the nacho cheese on the crunchy taco. I'm going to bite the bottom again because that was good. Next is this big boy. It's hefty. I love the foil wraps. I don't know. I just feel like I won Willy Wonka's like golden, what is it? The golden ticket. Ooh, and it has butcher paper in there. This looks fancy as fuck. This is the steak and bacon grilled cheese. Steak and bacon grilled cheese burrito, to be specific, not just a grilled cheese. I love the combination of this foil and, like, this butcher paper. Like, it just looks so elevated. Where's the grilled cheese part? Oh, it's on this side. Oh, that looks nice. I'm going to give this one a cut in half because I'm not going to eat this whole thing. And I want to get the best bite. So, like, Keith, uh, whatever his name is, Haberberber, taught me cut it in half to get the best bite. I don't know that I'm here for that one. I don't like the bacon. The bacon flavor honestly tastes like, you remember bacon bits? Like back in like the 80s and 90s, you put bacon bits on the salad. It had this really aggressive like fake bacon flavor. Almost like the way like bacon strips, like dog treats smell or something like that. That's kind of what it tastes like. I don't like the bacon at all. Love the grilled cheese on the outside and it's just too soft. Like everything is just like, it's just way too soft. Yeah, the bacon is gross. Um, if it was just the steak, maybe it would be okay. And it needs crunchy. It needs those crunchy, like, fiesta chips in there. Next, this is the spicy potato taco with beef. Add avocado ranch. And that looks like I just opened a freaking dirty diaper. So, let's give it a try. I love a good dirty diaper in the morning. The taco sit for, like, five seconds, and it just, like, fuses to the paper. Okay, that is delicious. You can put the avocado ranch on anything and it's going to be good. And I never thought to add beef to a spicy potato taco. I love the spicy potato taco. And normally if I get it, I'll add extra lettuce just to like bulk it up. But I've never thought to add beef. And that is so good. 
this is the last thing in here, but this can't be what I ordered. So I ordered a limited time offer of a three cheese chicken flatbread melt. And I don't feel like this is it. No. What the heck is this? Is this it? What the hell? That looks so pitiful and disgusting. Flatbread melt. Talk about, is this you, a limited time offer? Is this you just trying to get rid of whatever this is? What are these? The outside of a cheesy gordita crunch? So you make it into a limited time offer? That is pitiful. And it's hard. It's stale. Like, literally, it's stale. I'm not even dignifying this with a bite. I'm sorry. This looks disgusting. This is not what I thought it was going to be at all. I really think that's what limited time offer means. It means that's the way of that restaurant trying to get rid of stuff that's about to expire. So you like repurpose it into a limited time offer. Anyway, thank you for watching. What should I do next?